our favorite Larry Kudlow. Larry, it's good to see you. Nice to see you, Liz. So this feels like Mr. Toad's wild ride with the way the White House is handling electrifying the U.S. economy. I mean, where does this go? They don't even have the charging stations up, and GM and Ford, they're booking losses. I mean, I think Ford's electric vehicle sales are down like 25 percent. It's more Biden insanity. It's more climate insanity. You know, I think it's fine to have electric vehicles. I think people should have a choice, however. You don't end the internal combustion engine. Where, did someone vote on that, like right. in the House or the Senate? No. And they're just jamming it down our throats. It's just like here in New York. No more gas stoves. By the way, uh, my saintly wife and I have an electric stove in our apartment. It doesn't work. And we much prefer to cook on a gas stove. People are taking away our toilets, our shower heads, our electric stoves, light bulbs. Our ga light bulbs, right? Uh, I can go cross-eyed on that. But the electric vehicle thing is very important. And incidentally, the UAW just came out and told Biden they're not supporting him because they're going to lose a third of their jobs because of this mandate for electric vehicles. And I don't see how, you know, the Energy Department came out with an estimate that said in the next 10 or 12 years, no, actually going out to something like 2040 or 2050, um, only 20 percent of the population will have electric cars. That's what they, that's from the Energy Department. So I don't know where the Bidens think they're going to abolish the internal combustion engine and we're all going to buy electric vehicles. I yeah. don't know where they think they're going to get but, that. But, you know, the UAW, that's a big voting block you for bet. the Democrat Party. You bet. So Huge. this is going to hit the 2024 race. Voting block, uh, you know, poll workers, leafleters, financing campaigns. Right. No, no, they're furious at this. Undoubtedly, they're going to want all kinds of benefits and money and retirement uh, funds and so forth. The Biden's is just trying to jam this down our throats, take away our freedom of choice. And it is not based on the science. Because, look, the small amount of carbon you might save, might save in the next 10, 20, 30 years will be offset by China's coal plants. Exactly. To so, make green energy materials like solar panels. You know, so when they, when, what does this concerning is that they set aside the developments that the oil and gas industry is doing. William Lajeunesse has a story. The world's largest carbon capture pipeline spanning five sp uh, states to put carbon em emissions underground. Let's champion that. Yeah. Let's go whole hog on that. But now you've got it's the states are so in an uproar. Oklahoma is now, you know, saying, listen, you 10 financial firms who boycotted mm -hmm. U.S. energy, you're not handling Oklahoma investments or pension funds. You see more states doing that. Well, oh, I think that Oklahoma state government is exactly right. Uh, oil is a huge part, oil and gas is a huge part of the Oklahoma economy. So they're not going to do any pension business with these banks. They're not going to do any lending business with these banks. These banks have no business putting strictures the way they have uh, for ESG, uh, or DEI or any of these other left-wing socialist ideas that are coming down the pipe. I mean, Americans are very unhappy with this, okay? It contributes to the polls that show how pessimistic people are yeah. about the future, that we're going in the wrong direction. Th this is unnecessary. The, the common sense position, Lizzie, has always been all of the above. I mean, again, I got nothing against electric vehicles. Tesla makes a good electric car, fine. It happens to be more expensive than the average gas-powered car. But if people want to buy them, fine. But don't stop people from buying a car of their choice if it happens to be gasoline-powered. That's what's missing here. This is like some Soviet five-year plan. It's insane. Yes, exactly. And you stop know, stop jamming it down our throats. And how about admitting and uh, that natural gas does lower emissions? Oh, I know. Natural gas should be classified as clean-burning fuel. What they're doing in New York, Governor Hochul and so forth, uh, is insanity. Absolutely insanity. Just this one state. What difference is it going to make if New Yorkers? can't use a gas stove. What is that going to do to right. the climate? Exactly. But it is going to screw up their personal lives, and it is the heavy hand of government right. coming down. We're not a dictatorship. This is a free country. And the, Somebody, way, they're, and the way they're doing it is not so cinematically picture perfect. Remind you know? the Bidens that freedom is essential to the American idea. Someone to has go. to remind them. Yes, remind them.
Listen to Larry, <laughs> or I'm going to keep reminding you. Next time you come on, I'm going to cook all my guests huh? of we have a, little a, a cake, right? a sterno, a, right <laughs> a bake, you, bake you little cake in my guest oven. Larry Cudlow, make you come back on.